As they have in other Republican races this season, many election deniers are running in today's Republican primaries in Florida as well as New York, drawing attention to the wider issue of Republican election deniers running in and winning primaries ahead of the midterms. We take a look at election deniers by the numbers. 171, that's the number, according to ABC News' 538 of Republican nominees nationwide who are full-blown election deniers. They're running for U.S. Senate and House seats as well as state races across the country that come out to a total of 37 percent of all Republican nominees running right now who embrace Trump's lies about the 2020 election. An additional 54 nominees, or 12 percent, have expressed doubts about the 2020 election, despite the evidence that there was no widespread fraud, meaning 49 percent, basically half of all Republican nominees either deny or cast doubt on Joe Biden's election in 2020. Republican nominees for the House of Representatives are the most likely to deny the 2020 results. 42% of all Republican House nominees deny the election. That's 145 out of 349 nominees. And while lower in number, election deniers are also running in state races for Secretary of State. In fact, some 22%, more than one-fifth of Republican nominees for those officers, deny President Biden won the election. And many of those are running in swing states where the 2024 election could be decided. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.